All right, so it's Monday, April 29th. About 62 degrees out. It's a little cloudy. And I am herping. So, I don't know if we'll find anything or not, but this is pretty interesting anyway. It looks like this little stand of trees I was in, I'm in, was involved in some kind of fire. Nothing too severe, I guess, because there's all well, the trees are still standing. And they're a little bit charred here towards the bottom. See? But they're fine. Well, that goes up there quite a ways, actually. I don't know what happened here. Maybe it was a lightning strike. Maybe it's prescribed burn, but I don't know if they do that in forested areas. But you can see the dark marks on all these trees and all these, uh, these guys are all, uh, burnt too. All this stuff on the ground here. So it makes for a pretty interesting scene. I was just here about a month ago and this wasn't like I did this. find. It's not a living herp, but <laughs> the remains of one. Looks like got a turtle shell here, and I wish the carapace was intact. I don't know if this poor little guy was caught in the in the fire or what happened to him. But that's it is unfortunate. But you know, maybe maybe we'll find a live one. I don't know. But I thought that was pretty cool. To show you guys, yeah, kind of a kind of a bummer about the spot, and uh, I don't know. If, I mean, it's all ashy and smoky, so I don't know. Probably won't find anything, but I'm gonna go further down into the woods over there and see what's up. Seems like a good day for herping. It's not too hot, not too cold. I wish the sun was out, but you know, you get out when you get the yeah, chance. Check I guess. this out, guys. Look at all this burnt up timber laying on the ground here. I found this spot about a year ago. This wood was already laying down. They they come in here and cut down these trees periodically. But uh, I thought it looked promising at the time for snakes. All these logs to flip and roll. And uh, no, I still have not found a snake here. Coming back anyway, because it it seems like a good spot to find some. Though I don't know anymore. Look at this. All right, check this guy out. Look at the size of him. He uh, yeah, he's as big as my thumb. These things are everywhere. You can actually hear them chewing on inside the dead wood. And it's very similar to like. When we go worms and superworms, you'd feel your, feed your reptiles to those beetles. And, uh, oh man, hopefully I can find one of the, uh, the larvae, because they're enormous. They make superworms look like mealworms. But, yeah, he's, he's booking it. But since I'm not finding any reptiles, I figured I'd film an insect for you. Check this out. This is cool. I haven't been, I haven't seen this particular spot before. It's all flooded. Beautiful. And surely, uh, there's gotta be something around here. I'm gonna start rolling these logs right here and see if somebody's hiding out under there. Should be, I would think. But who knows? Look at this big old tree right here. It's got a down branch. Seems like a good spot for a snake to just be curled up on there. But there's not. I don't see any turtles out either. Seems like a, seems like a good habitat. I don't hear any frogs. I don't see any turtles, so who knows what's here. Maybe nothing. Alright, so I just lifted up this piece of bark and there are two skinks under it. There's, oh, there's one right there. There's one right there. You can just see its head poking out. Don't blink. Oh, he went underneath that other log. You guys saw that flash of blue, didn't you? A little five-line skink. Well, another one went under here. 
So let's be quick and see if we can see it. Oh, there it is. All right, all right, guys, I got one. I'm gonna gently lift up my hand to try it. Hopefully, he just sits there. Oh, look at that beauty. A juvenile five line skink. You can tell it's juvenile because of that bright blue tail. I got these things living all around my house, but uh, they're all adults. I don't usually see these juveniles. That is beautiful. Look at that. He squirmed around a fair bit, but he calmed down now. Awesome. There, I found something. Oh, and he, he's gone. <laughs> oh, I rolled the log next door. Check it out. Giganica. Super worm looking thing. See, what did I tell you? That must be, that's the larva of that beetle I showed you earlier. I don't know what species it is. Uh, clearly it's at least related to mealworms and such. The thing about herping is, uh, even if you don't find anything, it's always an adventure. And you, you're always bound to find something neat. Even if it's not your target. You know, the whole the old saying, uh, it's not the destination, it's the journey. Yeah, well, that's kind of true for herping. So here we have a, an old cemetery just out here in the middle of uh, nowhere. <laughs> a field, but still. Uh, old forgotten cemetery, pretty cool. Hard to make out the names on the stones, but uh, I've always liked looking for old cemeteries and exploring them and learning a bit of history and so. So it's pretty neat. I've come across stuff like explore this. Explore here a little bit and see what we got. Most of the stones are unreadable. This one, oh, let's see. Can't really make up the name. Looks like Samuel. Something or other. Born 1837 and died January 5th. Looks like 1916. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, oh geez. Oh, okay, okay. It's a bone, but <laughs> not human. Looks to be a deer bone been chewed up. A little too fresh. But geez, you never know. Find a human bone sticking out of the ground. Alright, let's, let's see. Let's look at this tall guy. Leonidas? Did that say Leonidas? Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Born in May 25th, 1848. Died. May 6th, 1909, at rest. Wow, that's pretty cool. Nice old uh, metal fence here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So yeah, I'm just like, walking around these little islands out here in the field, essentially. Oh, look at this, we got got over here. That's a... Uh, that's a jawbone from a raccoon. That's what that is. Pretty cool. I'm not going to keep it, but... Fun to find stuff like that. Bones all over the place. Here's another one. That's a... Uh, shoulder blade. So yeah, all in all, not a very productive herping trip. Got a couple lizards and a turtle plaster on but uh, it was fun anyway and uh, you know I, uh, I just want to bring you guys some videos I'm not gonna necessarily find much but when I do I'll bring it to you that's a good place for a snake doesn't it boy it's thick in there it's a good place for a rat snake to be hanging out. All right, I decided to pop into this little bit of woods here, adjacent to that little cemetery. And look what we got here. Bricks, 
so many bricks. Oh, this is surely an old house foundation. Probably whatever family is buried in that cemetery. This was probably the homestead. All these bricks. All right, I'm gonna. You know what? You know about the bricks. Previous videos I've complained about there not being rocks. But bricks are kind of like rocks. There might be some snakes in here. So I'm gonna flip for some of these bricks. Well, let's get done flipping quite a few of these bricks. And aside from snails and slugs and stuff, I haven't come across anything. So I guess I'm gonna call it a day. But this is a spot I'm gonna have to keep in mind for the future, because I am sure that some snakes are in here.